गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन एंड वेलकम बैक टू आर डेली करंट अफेयर्स वीडियोज आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग फाइन एंड गियरिंग अप फॉर योर आर बी आई ग्रेड बी एग्जाम डू चेक आउट आर क्रैश कोर्स फॉर आर बी आई ग्रेड बी गिवन ऑन आर वेबसाइट एंड ऑल्सो डाउन इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बिलो एंड जॉइन आर टेलीग्राम चैनल फॉर रेगुलर अपडेट्स रेगुलर एग्जाम अपडेट्स थ्री के क्विजेस लाइव वीडियो सेशंस पास्ट ईयर पेपर्स एवरीथिंग इट इज अ वन स्टॉप सोल्यूशन टू योर प्रिपेरेशन right everything is there in your smartphone so instead of binge watching videos on youtube right instead of uh, wasting your times and in, uh, time in instagram reels just download our app anujindal education technology app anujindal.in all right and boost your preparation spend more time in the app all right the exam is approaching okay so let's just start with today's session right the very first question Fabius's innovations has developed an affordable medical infrastructure known as Fabium which can destroy 99% of the bacteria and viruses within a span of 30 minutes okay so this uh, it is a statement based question aajkal rbi pre, uh, rbi ke general awareness mein there are a lot of statement based questions coming up <coughs> all right so which iit has incubated fabius's innovations All right, so Fabiosis Innovations is a startup, is a medical textile startup, or a yes, it it is a medical technology startup, Fabi Fabiosis Innovations. All right, and which IIT has incubated? Incubated, I told you in the last session. Incubated means it nurtured, it helps it helped in its growth, it supported its growth. and laid down the seeds for uh, you know the mushrooming of this uh, startup all right the growth of the startup so uh, please answer the question correctly it is is it iit delhi iit dopar iit kharagpur iit hyderabad or iit madras okay so the correct answer here is iit delhi okay so affordable medical textile so by medical textile what do you understand medical textile or your masks or your head covers your ppe kits that you see doctors and surgeons they wear during the operation ppe kits have been widely popular in uh, covid during the covid 19 emergency and masks have become our daily lifestyle all right so it is very important when we are using some things to prevent a disease or an infection it is very important to understand its cost benefit analysis in terms of how effective and to what extent they are effective all right so why is this innovation very very significant in medical textiles number 1 number 1 that the regular masks that we use the regular we also ha already have antimicrobial textiles uh, that exist in the market all right but the problem with these antimicrobial textiles is that they are able to kill the microbes and bacteria within a span of 24 hours right and within this time spans the microbes already double and triple in size all right so this is rendered ineffective in a way all right so this is a very powerful and a very important innovation that within 30 minutes all the bacteria viruses and even fungi all right it also kills fungi within the, that 30 minute time span all right so uh, making it much more effective right so let's learn a lit little bit about fabiosis innovations it is a deep tech healthcare startup right it was incubated with the help of iit delhi all right and its founder and ceo is yati gupta all right so very very important that we are talking about this medical textile industry medical textile industry is basically a part of a greater mission right greater mission of national technical textile missions right national tech textile mission national tech textile mission was launched in the year 2020 all right with a with an amount of 30 crores approved by cecea okay it was launched under ministry of textiles so basically 
what are technical textiles technical textiles include all the textiles suppose they are used in automobiles they are used in geo textiles medical textiles even uh, textiles that are used in agriculture in all the sectors that is primary secondary and tertiary sector especially in manufacturing text uh, sector all the textiles that are used these are known as your technical textiles all right so it what does it aim to do it aims to make india a global leader it aims to make india a global leader in technical textile industry with a market base of 50 billion us dollars by the year 2024 all right so medical textile industry even before covid in 2018 also the medical textile industry was an emerging industry in india but specially after covid it has you know improved a lot right india has been one of the major exporters of ppe kit in the world especially during the pandemic time all right so this is a very very important innovation moving on to the next question we have which state has signed an mou with uae based retail major lulu group all right for setting up shopping malls hypermarket and food logistic parks in the state all right so basically the idea behind this mou is to enhance economic activity right what will it do it will enhance economic activity right it will improve private consumption expenditure also it will also boost incomes of the people living over there why because it also generates employment opportunities all right so national international level collaboration is also important but the sub national level collaboration is also very very significant for the state level economy all right and tamil nadu we know is a, a very important uh, economically very important and also it is a very important agrarian state okay so what are what do you understand by hypermarkets is actually a big market that includes both your grocery shopping items and everything else like you have walmart and all those things all right so please answer the question quickly uh, which state has signed an mou with uae based major retail lulu group all right the correct answer is it tamil nadu telangana mp maharashtra or andhra pradesh okay so the correct answer here is tamil nadu chief minister tamil nadu mr m k stalin Mr M K Stalin has sound, uh, signed an MOU with UAE based retail major group uh, retail major Lulu group okay so um, let's have a look what is this about so a total of 3500 crore deal has been signed of which 25 sorry of which 2500 crore will be signed for malls all right and 1000 crore it will be signed for what for food processing for food processing food mega food logistics park in the state all right and it is estimated to uh, generate an employment for about 5000 people in the state right it is a significant amount still a significant number right it can be more why because there are always backward and forward link uh, linkages associated with these uh, mega investment projects all right so shopping malls will come up in chennai by 2024 first hypermarket is also expected to open in coimbatore right the chairman of uh, lulu group is yusuf ali so qatar let us learn uh, no not qatar uae we uh, talked at length about india uae relations in uh, our yesterday's session all right it is significant uh, strategically a very significant uh, country for uh, india all right so you can check out our previous video for an in depth insight for india uae relations okay at least you should know the basics right the capital for you is abu dhabi you should at least know that okay moving on to the next slide is 12th edition of rashtriya sanskriti mahotsav 
वेयर वॉज द ट्वेल्थ एडिशन ऑफ राष्ट्रीय संस्कृति महोत्सव ऑर्गेनाइज ओके तो राष्ट्रीय संस्कृति महोत्सव फर्स्ट इट वॉज ऑर्गेनाइज इन द इयर टू थाउजेंड एंड फिफ्टीन ऑल राइट इट एम्स टू प्रमोट प्रधानमंत्री विजन ऑफ एक भारत श्रेष्ठ भारत वेयर ट्राइबल्स विल गेट एन ऑपरचुनिटी टू शो केस द ट्राइबल आर्ट फॉर्म्स कल्चर म्यूजिक डांस फूड एवरी थिंग इवन देर स्मॉल बिजनेस इनिशिएटिव एंड इंडस्ट्रीज और राइट सो ट्वेल्थ एडिशन ऑफ राष्ट्रीय संस्कृति महोत्सव इट वॉज ऑर्गेनाइज वेयर आंसर द क्वेश्चन करेक्टली इट इज अ वेरी वेरी रिसेंट न्यूज ओके here one state is given and uh, in the rest of the four options you have your cities so i think uh, the question is also very ambiguous so it is important for you to be able to eliminate okay if you are following the news you will be able to eliminate all right so the correct answer here is arts college ground andhra pradesh <clears throat> okay so it is the 12th edition Twelfth edition of Rashtriya Sanskriti Mahotsav twenty twenty two. All right, it was organized in Andhra Pradesh and Governor uh, of Andhra Pradesh Sri Biswa Bhushan Hari Chandan inaugurated it. All right, it is a flagship program of Ministry of Culture. All right, the Ministry of Culture organized kar karwata hai kiske under Ma main objective is Ek Bharat, Shreshth Bharat. All right. it offers a very beautiful opportunity for uh, everyone around india to know about different cultures right so, uh, mainly we focus a lot of on uh, north indian culture and tribal and folk music art and dance but now shifting it to the uh, south indian states also they will also get to interact and showcase their culture all right so it is a very very important program to showcase and popularize the rich cultural heritage right events will also be organized in warangal and hyderabad okay so moving on to the next question you will definitely get more updates about these slides and you know further information about the event all right so recently a decentralized waste management uh technology park has been established in eat jafarabad new delhi okay so first of all jab bhi aisa koi question aaye with a statement of four five lines lines you do not have to be scared okay you have to focus on keywords if you know the correct answer you will focus on the keywords and mark the correct option all right you will think for 30 seconds or 1 minute maximum and then you will mark the correct option ga is a paper where it is your knowledge based test right there is no elimination technique like in other exams like upsc you have to know the exact fact and you will be able to mark the correct answer quickly you just have to maintain your calm be able to read the question entire question with a calm mind right if you know the answer mark it if you don't know the answer please don't try to guess in facts factual based questions all right when there is no scope for elimination there is um, no use of you know increasing your negative marking okay so decentralized waste management park khula hai new delhi mein uh, under the waste to wealth mission it is a central government's mission waste to uh, wealth mission under pm stiac pm stiac all right science technology innovation all right <laughs> which is an initiative under the principal scientific advisor to the central government's office all right it is equipped with enviro rice r810 it is a technology of course by the name also you should be able to figure out that the park is equipped with this technology the technology basically removes the solid waste that is floating on the surface of a, a water body all right so this technology has been brought from this technology has been bought from answer the question uh, quickly denmark finland sweden netherland or poland which is the correct answer so the correct answer here is denmark <clears throat> okay so it is a decentralized waste management technology park all right so all the waste that is floating on the surface of a water body it will uh, use this technology to remove that waste from the surface all right 
so the initiative was taken uh, along with the east delhi municipal corporation right and it will include a plasma pyrolysis unit by iit delhi pyrolysis if you have been following your english grammar if you have been continuously reading word power made easy so by now you should be able to know what the term pyrolysis means and then it is also it suggests on it is suggestive on its own that pyrolysis basically is a burning technology right it basically heats up it uses plasma energy to uh, burn the waste material all right so this is uh, also a unit which is also being built by iit delhi right <coughs> enviro rice r a 110 is a technology from denmark it removes floating waste from 52 cusick drain flowing adjacent to the park's location okay so wealth waste to wealth not wealth to waste waste to wealth is actually a national mission under this uh, initiative okay <clears throat> okay so i hope it is clear now right the technology is imported from denmark okay so moving on to the next question we have total horticultural production the final estimates have been recently been released by department of agriculture and farmer welfare so ministry of agriculture and farmer welfare has three important departments that is department of agriculture and farmer welfare department for uh, animal husbandry and fisheries and department for agricultural research and education these are three very important departments for under ministry of agriculture and farmer welfare all right so this uh, department has pro, uh, recently released final estimates of total horticulture production in 2020 21 all right so answer the question if you know the total amount well and good if you don't know the total amount please don't try to make wild guesses in the actual examination okay so the correct answer over here is 334.60 million tons of horticultural produce was finally uh, produced in the year 2020 21 as you can see from this table all right this is the advanced et estimate for the year 21 22 all right so a total of uh, this is uh, 333.25 is the advanced estimate it is almost the same as the final estimate all right so by horticulture what do you mean i hope you all know what horticulture is right the production of vegetables right the production of flowers fruits right herbs and even your ornamental and exotic plants these are all under uh, these are all produced under horticulture and india is the second largest producer of horticultural vegetables and fruits in the world all right so this is the final estimates for 2021 right total horticultural production will be 334.6 million tons fruits production 102 million tons vegetable production 200 million ton right you have onion potato tomato टॉप्स करके एक स्कीम आई थी पहले ऑपरेशन ग्रीन्स के अंतर्गत इन ऑर्डर टू इम्प्रूव एंड बूस्ट द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ टोमेटो पोटेटो एंड अनियन इट इज द स्टेपल फॉर ऑलमोस्ट एवरी इंडियन राइट एंड एवरी होम सो यू हैव दिस एरोमेटिक एंड मेडिसिनल प्लांटेशन क्रॉप्स एंड स्पाइसेस ओके यू कैन गो थ्रू द टेबल इट इज एक्चुअली yeah this is the advanced estimate for the next year all right if you want to take a note you can take a note but you can you know glance it two three times you will just get a rough idea all right you don't have to remember or learn the exact number but you just have to get a rough idea about it okay so moving on to the next question we have which of the following companies have collaborated with group atp and gmr airports for conducting the joint study on sustainable aviation fuel right and their potential in india 
all right so which of the following companies have collaborated with this these two groups and conduct a joint study on sustainable aviation fuel all right so answer the question first and so that we can move on to the explanation now so the correct answer here is all of the above that is airbus arconic and safran all these three companies are france based companies all right and group adp and gmr has been conducting a joint study on sustainable aviation fuel and their potential in india all right to so sustainable aviation fuel se matlab kya hota hai abhi hamare air industry mein what do we use we use atf fuel right you know air turbine fuel right and aviation sector uh, is growing in india rapidly as we all know government is also promoting promoting aviation sector under uran rcs scheme right and aviation fuel contributes to 2 to 3% of the total co2 emissions in the world all right and also uh many uh, international organizations like the world economic forum specially feels that by the year 2040 international energy agency has said that by the year 2040 the india's energy demand will boost up right it will be the top most energy consumer in the world and also the world economic forum states that india has a very good potential for sustainable aviation fuels why because sustainable aviation fuel your saf or sustainable aviation fuel is used from uh, largely it is used from agricultural waste right also it converts power into liquid liquid liquefied waste using, using hydrogen technology it also used uh, livestock and uh, you know uh, it also used food stock uh, waste materials and uh, it can be converted into sustainable aviation fuel and there is a huge scope for india to be a global leader in saf if proper and adequate research and development re- leads to successful uh, you know development and commercialization of the fuel all right so its purpose is basically to understand and evaluate the demand the challenges and the opportunities right why because r&d is always a long term process in uh, in order to first implement something in the actual market uh, one has to run through a lot of tests and trials right they have to study uh, the success rate and the failure rate of a particular initiative the supply and infrastructure on the fuel and also finally you have to market the fuel right and marketing the fuel also means that bringing it at par with the cost of other fuels that are available right it should not be unnecessarily expensive right otherwise why will people use it profit motive they have to uh, think with their profit motive right so according uh, to the group SAF can reduce CO2 emissions by 85% across the entire SAF life cycle all right and this fact we have already discussed all right so this is very very important Muradabad is the world's second most noise polluted city as per the UNEP annual frontier report 2022 right with the level of 114 decibel so decibel is basically a unit of sound only all right so what the question is basically asking you what is who's recommended level of decibels in commercial areas all right so the question itself suggests that who has uh, released two sets of recommendations one for residential area and another for commercial areas so commercial areas ke liye who ke recommendations kya hai you have option 75 decibel 30 decibel 50 90 and 88 decibel answer the question so who ne basically recommend kiya 55 decibel for outdoor residential area and 70 decibel for commercial areas All right, an annual fl- frontier uh, report, जो है इसका title है noise, blaze and mismatches. A total of sixty one cities were analyzed, in which the second city was Muradabad from UP, first city being Dhaka in Bangladesh, and then we have Islamabad, Kolkata and Asansol. Have you uh, noticed a trend that all these cities uh, they lie in the eastern part? right it is interesting but also jaipur and delhi have also been uh, listed as other cities but relatively 
relatively bearable and not as loud as the city of Muradabad. Okay, so as far as noise pollution is concerned, Section 2A of Air Pollution, Air Prevention, Control and Air Pollution Act, Section 2A of Air Pollution Act defines what constitute or what components basically constitute as noise pollutants. All right. And also NGT, National Green Tribunal has ordered Central Pollution Control Board to draw a noise pollution map for the entire country. So these are some initiatives that have been taken against noise pollution in India. There are also a lot of regulatory initiatives that vary from city to city. Uh, there has to be some uh, regulatory initiatives in your area also. Write it down in the comments below. What rules and regulations are released by your municipality, your city municipality against noise pollution? All right. It is understandable uh, due to commercial reasons. Noise pollution for the commercial areas and residential areas is different. It is quite obvious. All right. But the thing is, the problem is that all the rules and regulations regarding noise pollution, they largely remain on the paper, right? Are they properly even implemented or not? Just let me know your views about it. All right. The, the world's quietest cities are Jordan, France, uh, are found in Jordan, France, Spain, Sweden and Siberia. So, you know, this is your potential holiday destination. Right, if you want to, uh, uh, you know, run away uh, from all the noise, background noise and everything, you can go to Jordan, you can go to France, but after your exam. With which sovereign wealth fund has Baiju's partnered to expand its base in Middle East and North African region? So Baiju, you know, it is a very important uh, education technology startup. All right, it is also a competitor industry in educational uh, online education business. All right, and it has partnered with one of the investment authority from the Western Asian country, right? Ye Pacha option Western Asian countries mein hai, and you have to tell me the correct answer, right? So the correct answer here is Qatar Investment Authority. Baiju's has partnered with Qatar Investment Authority, right, to expand its based in MENA region, right, Middle East and North African region. Okay, so uh, basically, its plans kya kya hai? to build a research and development hub in uh, Doha. It also wants to uh, offer learning solutions, right very uh, important learning solutions to the student in uh, Middle East and North Africa region. Basically, the ba main idea is that a Baiju want to introduce or establish its online education system base in this region. All right. So founder and CEO of Baiju, Baiju Ravindran and Mansoor Al Mahmood of CEO of QIA have signed this agreement. All right. Now, here we have an interesting question. Who is the director of Oscar winning Coda movie? Now, Coda is an English uh, translation of a French Belgium comedy drama movie, right? And it has won, the, won an Oscar for uh, this, right? Best director ka award Oscar kya is movie ke liye mila hai. Now, the question is asking you the name of the director. Is it Steven Spielberg, Sian Heather, Martin Sorceries, Corsis, okay, Francis Ford Coppola and Quentin Tarantino. Tarantino. Tarantino resembles a spider's name, right? You have Tarantula. But you don't have to remember this at all because this is not the correct answer. Right, the correct answer is Sian Heather. Sian Heather is the correct answer for Oscar winning Coda movie. Right, it is basically an English translation uh, of a comedy drama, French Belgian comedy drama. Just watch it, we'll write it down in your bucket list of, uh, uh, of your to do list of things you should do after your RBI grade B exam. I will keep reminding you about it. Okay. So, 
just go and have a look at it now let's talk a little bit about oscar awards right oscar awards basically uh iska formal name hai academy awards okay the formal name for oscar awards is academy awards all right it was first uh, first oscar award was given in the year 1929 and its initiative was taken by george stanley ओके सो ऑस्कर अवार्ड के काउंटर पार्ट क्या है वी ऑल वॉच इट यू ऑल वॉच बिंज वॉच वेब सीरीज एंड ऑल्सो यू डेफिनेटली नो एमी अवार्ड विच इज फॉर टेलीविजन और राइट वी हैव टोनी अवार्ड एंड देन वी ऑल्सो हैव ग्रामी अवार्ड ग्रामी अवार्ड इज गिवन फॉर म्यूजिक एंड टोनी अवार्ड इज गिवन फॉर थिएटर राइट दीज आर नोन एज योर parallels of oscar right equivalent awards uh, of oscar these are emmy tony and grammy okay so basically not only in artistic but also technical expertise is also recognized and you know oscar awards it for this here is a list of some important awards right actress and lead in role jessica chastain for eyes of tammy leading role actor will smith right supporting role troy cotsor and koda course so just have a look at it pause the video have a look at it you don't have to remember all these names just glance it four five times you know even two two three times you will get an idea you will get a rough idea last question for today is who has become the youngest and the fastest female swimmer in the world to swim across park street park street aapko pata hai kahan just uh, write it down in the comments below you all should know where is park street all right i'm not going to tell you it is very very important it is very popular okay so a girl a girl has been awarded pradhan mantri's uh, rashtriya bal puraskar award in the year 2022 for being the youngest and the fastest female swimmer to swim across park park street all right name of the girl is answer it rachna chabra grai sarojini shekhar anita bagel or rajni sharma okay so the correct answer here is grai okay so grai is a 13 year old girl with autism okay autism is uh, not a mentally it is not a mental uh, disability okay but it is somewhat it affects the social behavior it affects the emotional cognitive some basic psychological functions and social behavior of the people all right it is non curable it stays for lifetime it is non curable all right and Second of April. Second of April was uh, recognized as World Autism Day by U N G A in the year two thousand and eight. All right. So autism is a non-curable disease. It is not a mental retardation, but it the ex intensity of the uh, disease can basically uh, vary from person to person. Right. it affects your cognitive thinking abilities it affects your social behavior it affects your ability to process some emotions all right but you know there have been many instances uh, where people with autism have been found excellent at something or the other all right be it writing be it sports right or any other field all right so she has she swam 28 kilometers within 13 hours right from park street talai manar in sri lanka to arichal munai in dhanushkodi tamil nadu dhanushkodi you all know very very important uh, location in tamil nadu all right from there uh, you can also see the bridge that people claim to have was built in thousands of years ago religiously also but also geographically also it is a very important point for india dhanushkodi all right with this rai has become the youngest and the fastest female swimmer in the world to swim across park street okay and she has received pradhan mantri rashtriya bal puraskar 
in the category for open water swimming all right so this is this was it for the questions of uh, for today this was all for today thank you so much for watching till the end all the very best for your preparation keep watching our videos keep revising with us and in case you have any doubts write it down in the comments below and reach out to our other mentors also uh, and discuss your doubts with them subscribe to our crash course in case you are having any last minute preparation doubt for a more personalized guidance all right so take care stay happy work hard don't waste your time bye bye